The collapse of Gujarat's Morbi Bridge has claimed over 140 lives. The century-old British-era bridge was a suspension bridge. Moments before the collapse, CCTV footage have emerged which show men trying to dock the bridge from one side to the other. The reason for its collapse is still under investigation. So how does a suspension bridge work? In a suspension bridge, the deck is hung below suspension cables on vertical suspenders. The basic structural components of a suspension bridge include stiffening girders, two or more suspension cables, and tars and anchorage for cables at either end of the bridge. The main cables are suspended between the tars and are connected to the anchorage or the bridge itself. Overall, the weight of the deck, including the traffic of people, is transferred to the ground through the vertical suspenders, which are in compression. The most important load-bearing members are the suspension cables. Now, all of this balancing has to happen within the permissible weight restrictions for the bridge. So, two things have to be ensured. There must be no overloading and there should not be any excessive swaying. So, what could have possibly led to the accident? The sudden collapse as seen in the video suggests that most or all of the suspension cables were weak or corroded. The bridge reportedly had over 400 people on it when it collapsed. The dynamic loading created by the synchronous and deliberate movements of the people on the bridge created excessive deflection. What seems to have given way are the connections securing the vertical cables with the deck. Investigation of the accidents will reveal the exact cause. The prime examples of suspension bridges would be the Golden Gate Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge in the US. India's longest suspension bridge is the Dobra Chanti Suspension Bridge built over the Tehri Lake.